Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is a lot to do today, folks, and I think we're more or less going to be diving into a time lapse pretty much immediately after this loading screen. I want to make sure we <laughs> at least come close to finishing our new enclosure over here. It feels like it's a million miles away. It feels like it's a million miles away. I, I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if we'll be able to accomplish it today, but I really want to try. I would love to get this done. Um, the, uh, the 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 DLC is pending, as it were, uh, and and I want to try and at least wrap this one thing up before uh, you know everything we talked about over the last handful of sessions takes place. There have been uh, a couple of suggestions with regards to uh, the approach over the next handful of episodes and whatnot in terms of a trade session, a uh, you know a, a full time lapse session to maybe get some uh, get some of these spaces completed. I've sort of duly noted all of that, and I definitely. Uh, I'm taking all that into consideration as I move forward uh, in, in planning the, uh, again, upcoming episodes and the upcoming uh, sessions as well. Definitely need to do a trade session extremely soon. Um, we <laughs> our animal storage is full, um, and that applies to, to franchise zoos across the board, right? Like, it's it's our franchise has has, has too many animals in its, uh, in its trade center, and so no matter what we do, moving forward if we want to get more animals in we have to at least release them into the wild or or trade some out but again that's neither here nor there we've discussed this before uh multiple times with regards to uh what needs doing so eventually in the very near future it has to be in the very near future we will do a trade session i think what worked best was that kind of like live streamed approach uh it was a fun time we got to kind of like hang out chill uh release it at the same time as a regular episode as well so that stays consistent uh but yeah some nice chill vibes get to relax a little bit get to Look around the uh, the zoo a little bit, and also uh, you know respond to any questions and whatnot. While also uh, figuring out the best way to get some animals out there uh, with some you know reasonable prices and whatnot for folks who are maybe either either they've just picked up the game or they've been playing and they just want to get uh, uh, get one of these animals and, and help uh, spread the, uh, the 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 love and joy uh, from some of the animals that we've been uh, tending to at the uh, elite zoos, I suppose. Um, Gotta, gotta consider both of our uh, franchise zoos, of course, because I think there might actually still be some animals in the Trade Center that are from Elite Zoo North, uh, which is wild to think about. I, I think we got them all with our previous trade session, but uh, maybe I'm mistaken. I either way, like I said earlier, that's neither here nor there. Today we are focusing on the Phantom of the Nile to try and get this space done, and then moving forward, I'll, uh, again, based on many of yours, feedback... And based on my own thoughts with regards to like how things have been progressing and what we need to do to make sure we're uh, keeping on progressing smoothly, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be planning the the upcoming sessions. Um, I want to mention as well, I did get a lot of excellent name suggestions for a variety of things. I'll see if there's time to implement some of that after today's time lapse has been uh, completed. There is a very distinct possibility that today's session is going to be a time lapse only session. Uh, which would be probably indicated by it not having any time stamps and by it uh, by it having a uh, a shorter overall duration uh, just because again time lapse time dilation from a time lapse is uh, you know, something I have to manage still uh, but uh, but if it is a slightly shorter episode then you'll know why it's because this will be a full time lapse that we're about to dive into right now I do believe I need to change the time of day over here I don't think I mean as beautiful as it is with this uh, the coloration and whatnot like I, I quite like this is i mean if we had some more like stuff to fill in the, the the blanks over here i think this would look quite nice i'm really excited to see the space completed um but yeah i think i do have to change the time of day over here uh i apologize also if i sound a little kind of uh disjointed right now or all all over the place a little little messy with my uh even with my ramblings right now it's just because my mind is on like a hundred different things with regards to this time lapse and how much i want to accomplish I'm just trying to, as I'm looking at the space, I'm like rethinking and rejigging, I suppose, in my mind exactly how I want to approach this. But yes, I've got a bunch of name suggestions in the comments of the previous episode that I would love to implement some across the board. Uh, I'd love to implement them today, but I might not get to that. Apart from that, I believe I've addressed uh, conversations about the trade session. Yes, I'm just making sure I'm just going through my notes here real quick. I want to make sure everything's been covered. Um, I believe, uh, I believe so. I believe we'll get to dive in. Folks, it's time lapse time. All right, folks. 
This is by far, almost without a doubt, the longest time lapse we have done in about a year. Maybe even maybe even more than. It is absolutely wild. We got a lot accomplished. I feel like the title perhaps uh, at least implies what we get done, how much we get done. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's a wild one. I'm I'm really pleased with the end results. I hope you all are as well. Uh, so let's dive into it. I apologize preemptively, by the way, if I sound a little out of it. It's because this this time lapse was uh, oh man, I was like I was saying before the time lapse, racking my brain about all the things I want to tackle. Uh, so I, the, you can definitely, you'll you'll hear the residual effects of the intensity of this time lapse, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, so the first order of business was uh, sort of a, 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 a just a personal thing, I guess, for me. Um, I wanted to redo this graphic over here, if we can call it that, I suppose. This uh, sculpture, if you will. Seems strange to call it that. But uh, there's a particular part in the Nile uh, that I, I quite like the shape of uh, for a couple of reasons. And I thought, you know what, if we're going to do it, why not? Why not try and, and, and make reference to the Nile itself? And if we're going to make a reference to the Nile itself, why not uh, make a reference to, again, my favorite part of it? Um, it's uh, it's actually further south from Egypt. It, I, I guess the shape, the overall shape, which I'm close on here, uh, begins like right at the border of Egypt and Sudan. And uh, and it kind of like does this like heavy swing to the um, to the west. And it goes south for a bit, and then it goes real hard um, eastward and northward, and then it goes south real hard again, and then it really hard shifts uh, westward again, and then south, and then it splits into two. Or, well, y you know what I mean. Um, and it splits into the, 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 the Blue Nile and, uh, and the White Nile. Blue Nile, White Nile. I'm pretty sure that's... Oh, man. Now I feel like I'm not remembering. Fairly confident in the name. It splits at cart around Khartoum and then it becomes the Blue Nile and the White Nile. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I, I'm I like um, the history of this part of the world. <laughs> uh, a lot of my a lot of my childhood was spent uh, you know dreaming about all kinds of like not dreaming about uh, being involved in and and exposed to all kinds of like ancient Egyptian um, you know things. So I'm fairly familiar with the with some aspects of this of this of this region. So I'm pretty sure it's yeah Blue Nile and White Nile. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's what that's that's memory for me right now. Anyway, um, so yeah, I really like that shape, the the the, the zig and the zag, and I got it close-ish, I suppose. Um, I can only do so much with how much real estate I had to work with, and I got the split in there as well uh, to make sort of the uh, the, the the gateway, if you will, uh, to to further highlight the gateway. Uh, maybe I should have done it using the lights, but I'm quite pleased with how it looks right now. I also changed the color of the um, of the typography. Um, it was suggested to either change the color of the typography or the backing color um, just to further differentiate it and, and make it pop it a, bit, a bit more and I, I wholeheartedly agree with that feedback and I thought it would be nicer to, to change the color of the typography uh, because I quite like the white structure and the all white structure. I didn't want it to look like it was, uh, I, did, I, I, I wanted to avoid um, sandstone vibes or any, anything like that. Um, so I wanted to keep the structure white but I was cool with kind of making a reference to uh, you know, desert tones, I suppose, with the uh, the typography. Um, now here you can see I'm kind of arguably distracted by the the barrier um, and, and and the layout, I suppose, of the, uh, the the perimeter of this enclosure. And that's because the animals aren't entirely happy with how much coverage they're getting, which is unfortunate because realistically the coverage isn't actually all theirs. I don't like how the game tracks coverage. Now, fortunately, even though they're not too happy about how much there is, they're not upset enough by it to actually impact their uh, their mood and their overall happiness. So so that's good. But I don't know, I'll, I'll try and figure something out there to, to find a happy middle ground. But I mean, the whole concept's out the window. The whole space is out the window if uh, you know if, if I if I don't find a, a middle ground, if I go just by that one uh, issue and, and, and scrap everything, that would not be fun. Yeah, surprise, that's that's the last frame of this time lapse is me just deleting everything. Can you imagine? Uh, another great suggestion I got was uh, to try and make this space over here uh, look kind of like cantilevered. Um, so rather than building full structural supports, just have them uh, hanging out. I tried that uh, visually. I, I love the idea, just to be clear. Um, I find cantilevers to be quite interesting. Oh my god. Uh, 
not a sentence I ever thought I would say, but cantilevers are really quite quite interesting to look at, depending on on the extent of them, I guess. Uh, but it, visually over here, it wasn't really working, so I decided to uh, to to give some structural support using the uh, the girders and um, and then I added the vines again, another suggestion of like helping kind of blend the space in. And that was yeah, that was totally it was part of the plan as well. But uh, just sort of he hearing it or reading it, I guess, in the comments as well gives some like I guess. Uh, assurances that like okay my head's in the right space about that I was thinking along the right line so as I always say I mean I do love the comments I do love going through the comments because it, it helps in all, all sorts of ways um, moving on from the interior I start working on the exterior a bit more uh, there, there were a couple of comments with regards to the um, a sort of a feeling of incompleteness I suppose with the half dome and I could totally see where those what were like where those comments were coming from and I, I totally uh, appreciated that angle and I was just like okay let me let me see what I can do about that because I quite like the half dome and again there were many of y'all that like the half dome as well so I, I wanted to keep the the half dome going but I did also see like it felt unfinished as opposed to intentional and there's something about intent like when when whenever you design something or or wh whether it's art or design um and if it's supposed to be let's say for lack of a better word if it's supposed to be poorly done it really needs to look like it was intentionally poorly done otherwise it looks genuinely poorly done it looks like it's actually a bad job as opposed to a good job at doing a bad job you know what i mean uh you got to carry through with the art direction or with the errors or you gotta you gotta like exaggerate them or what have you um there's a there's a fine line between things looking um intentional and unintentional and that fine line can be the difference between uh success and lack thereof when it comes to again design or art just one man's opinion over here uh but, but I, I i subscribe to that uh, school of thought and and so i was kind of applying that to here after seeing some of those comments i was like you know a good point it looks like i just kind of gave up on the dome part way through and that's not the case i know that's not the case we all know it's not the case we all know that the previous kind of uh iteration of it was intentional but then looking back at it with that lens applied, I was like, okay, I could see, yeah, you know, it does feel kind of incomplete, and that's not, that's not okay. Let's let's try and, and and get it completed. So what can we do to do that? Well, how can we accomplish that? And I figured a a shell of that blaster material uh, would do a good job of kind of like tying it all together and making it feel like these like metal pieces and these glass pieces weren't just like hanging at the top there. But they actually went to an endpoint. Um, and and after having established that uh, I feel a lot better about the overall uh, shape of the the half dome uh, and, and how it kind of sits alongside everything else. However, <laughs> uh, having established that, I come to this place. Do you know what the definition of insanity is? Um, I try countless things. I try, I don't know, like five different ways of, of making this area work. And I just couldn't for the life of me. I, like, I really like this shape that you're seeing right now. This like curve, but it's got like the, the stepping on it. I really like that shape, but I could not for the life of me get it to work. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little upset at myself for that. <laughs> a little disappointed that I couldn't get this to work. I just couldn't figure it out. I was like, oh, is it, uh, do, I, do I have to spin it this way, spin it that way, rotate this way? How many, how many iterations, how many like steps can I get to make these curves work? Do I have to use a thinner plaster pieces? Do I have to use, it's just, it was like, and then, and then <laughs> it's not just about the bottom curve either, which I feel like is all right, close over here. We could probably get it to work, but then how does it attach to the rest of this space as well? Does it attach to the rest of the space? I was, honestly, I like that shape a lot. Didn't make it work. Didn't make it work. Still kind of bummed about that, but I don't hate the end result. Uh, I just, I might actually come back here at some point down the line to, to retry this thing. That's why I kind of send it below. <laughs> I send it underground so I can use it later on as a reference. Maybe not here, maybe somewhere else, because I, I like the shape. I like the, 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 vis the visual, like, uh, just everything about it it, it it looks quite neat um it also has i don't know it's very appealing <laughs> unfortunately it's now underground hopefully we'll find a place to to use it um but yeah so this this area as a whole becomes a big chunk 
of the struggle of this time lapse. I was completely not anticipating it. Um, mainly because initially there was going to be a bit of a disconnect in the area. Uh, initially, I wasn't going to do, you know, the plaster wasn't going to come around like this, and so I wasn't worried about all this stuff that I'm working on right now. But as I was, you know, solving one problem, um, new ones came up. And that's fine, by the way. Please do not take that to mean, oh, I wish I'd never, never got those comments, and I wish I'd never thought about. No, no, no. I 100%, 100% appreciate what you were getting at with those comments. I agree is also very important. It's like one of those things where it's like if I'd stepped away, you know, I might not have noticed it until a few weeks down the line, uh, by which point it may have been too late. But uh, but because it was pointed out in the comments, you know, by somebody who has fresh eyes, uh, fresher eyes than mine, especially um, when it comes to being too attached to a, to, a, to, a, to the process, um, it, it makes those changes, makes that makes those improvements happen faster. So I just want to be crystal clear that I appreciate uh, Despite you know the <laughs> the uh, uh, what I what I've implied as the uh, the fallout of 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 that uh, of that uh, uh, feedback, um, it is it was an important piece of feedback, and I'm glad I got it, and I'm glad I was able to like do it all right now. But you can see I got so tired of dealing with that side of things. I was just like I can't. I'm I'm done with you right now. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna focus on something that's easy. I was, and I touched on this two sessions ago, three sessions ago. Now, you know when you're when you're slamming your head against a brick wall. Sometimes it's best to uh, walk away from the brick wall so you stop slamming your head against it and just focus on something else. Something that's nice and easy, something that's fairly, you know, comfortable in terms of, okay, I'm definitely going to accomplish something here, uh, get that momentum back, and then dive back into the complicated task with at least somewhat fresh eyes. I was adamant on getting something done today. I was like, no, we are going to get this thing done or at least extremely close to done um, today. Uh, so I was, yeah, I was definitely feeling a little, uh, a little stubborn, at least a little stubborn. Uh, but yeah, so, um, back over here now, again, just avoiding that sort of curved area of the, of the dome that I, I was struggling with earlier, still avoiding that, still procrastinating it, you could say, uh, and focusing on a different element over here that was like, this also needs work. How do I actually do this? I did not want to use the glass wall pieces. I did not want this to be an enclosed space. I just, I don't know. I want this to be a place where you can sit down on the bench, uh, ha have your have your have your sandwich, enjoy a cool breeze. You know, that's what I want this place to be. I might need to get a fence down actually. Now that I think about it, maybe it would be a good idea to put a fence down. Um, also, this would be a really fun place to fly a drone. The uh, but yeah, so that that's that's uh, I wanted to figure an alternative way to do that without using the glass wall pieces, the curved glass wall pieces that the game uh, provides. Um, so instead, I went with the girders. And now we're back over here. Oh my god, I forgot about this whole step. <laughs> I, I completely forgot that I even tried this. I was like, well, you know, the glass worked. The glass worked earlier, so why shouldn't it work now? It, it should work now, right? I'm almost like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like throwing just everything at the wall and hoping that something sticks. It's like, come on, man, something, something, something's gotta give. Um, spoilers. The uh, the <laughs> the glass does not give. The glass was not the solution. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, though, I, I didn't spend too much time. You know, it's fun looking back at like some. It's fun sometimes looking back at these moments when, while I was doing it, I was just like losing my mind. I was like, "Man, this is not working. Oh no, what's gonna happen this episode?" Um, and and then and then looking back at it and just being like, "Yeah, it was all. Everything is fine. Everything's okay." Uh, it's it's fun to look back at it when everything ends up okay. When everything doesn't end up okay, that's when it's just like, "Man, I can't believe I spent twenty minutes." On, on whatever <laughs> attempt of a solution, which was clearly not working within the first five minutes, but uh, here we are. No, no, today, today, today was good because because we end inclusively. I like those shapes as well, but they weren't really gonna. I didn't think they were gonna work out too nicely across the board. Uh, but they are what brought me to what ends up being the ultimate solution over here, um, which I might actually extend a bit more. Uh, but basically, I use these little pillar pieces uh, to create a frame at the bottom, and it kind of mirrors the um, the metal work. Uh, on the rest of the dome was the thinking there it was like okay you know why don't we pull that like i guess you can't really call it a motif but pull that element or aspect or what have you over and, and maybe find a, a a way to connect the the vastly different materials in that way and i think it works quite nicely um uh, occam's razor occam i never know how to pronounce occam's razor 
Occam's razor, right? Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Which, <laughs> after like four rounds of attempts, uh, we managed to do. <laughs> I'm still laughing at my my own like <laughs> what I put myself through sometimes. Um, but yeah, so uh, with that out of the way, yeah, what I might do is I might add uh, like exactly where the the metal rings are. I might put in the plaster rings and and just kind of create that pattern as well. So it creates that lattice and it creates some interesting shadow work. Uh, and it also, I mean, I don't know about structural integrity, but I think it would look nicer. I'm only thinking about that now. At the time, I was just like happy to be done with this space. I was like, oh, cool, a solution. Let's move on. Uh, but right now, I'm looking back at it. I'm like, yeah, I could definitely, definitely still spruce it up a bit. And that's always the case. I just want to be clear again. Even though I would consider this area done uh, after this time lapse, there are obviously uh, opportunities to come back and, and make some changes. In fact, with what you're looking at right now over here, uh, I mentioned this after the time lapse as well. I intend actually to come back here after that next patch and use some of the new tools uh, to spruce this space up. Um, it might work out. It might not work out. If it does work out, fantastic. If it doesn't work out, then fine. We'll make a different solution. I'm fine with that. But I figured why not use this as an opportunity um, to, to, to sort of earmark a spot for a feature or, or an element, I suppose, that we know is coming. Um, I'm speaking, of course, about the, uh, the, the billboards. Uh, in particular, in this case, the uh, I feel like there's an opportunity here. I've got some ideas. I don't know if they'll work. I'm hoping they'll work. We'll see. Well, we shall see. Man, it was. We really forgot about this this happening as well. I'm um, just trying to figure out that like inner ring basically, and, and and not wanting to overdo it. And over here as well, it's like, do we need this pillar to to build some support? Uh, for the, the center point, how do we make this space feel like it's actually attached? This is something I'm still not too sold on as well, is uh, is making that, making it feel like this building could actually, like this part of the building could actually stand up. I'm not exactly sure how I want to go about executing it. I did not like, you'll see me executing the girder approach over here. Not the biggest fan of how that ends up looking. It just, it's, I don't know, it's difficult. Because I like how it looks... But, but I also don't. You can see what I like. Do you see what I mean? It's like, I like how it. Oh, okay, I've got it. Up close, isolated, like in that corner, I think it looks nice. Zoomed out, it looks out of place. That's the problem. That's the issue. Um, so I was doing a quick check back there about, like, okay, well, how does the space actually look zooming out? Uh, I'm very pleased to say that I've managed to accomplish one of my major goals, which was to. Uh, which was to. Uh, have sort of this uh, iconic or recognizable, I should say, um, landmark that we can actually see from a distance. Um, I touch more on this after the time lapse, so we'll, we'll 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 talk about it then. Over here, I'm actually experimenting with something that was suggested in the comments. Uh, hopefully, I've understood it correctly. It was a bit of a struggle to to to, to create. And I'm curious to hear your opinions about it, but just trying to mimic the uh, the look of our Nile monitors here by building layers and using the colors uh, to, to kind of give... See, the right pieces don't necessarily exist for this. Maybe they do, or maybe I just I wasn't looking at them and I need to like rethink which pieces I use to, uh, to create that kind of skin um, look or feel or what have you, where it's like, oh yeah, little slivers of well, because it's not actually little slivers on the animal, but I feel like it works. It feels like gold flecks, which is more like a uh, like a like a reference to the animal as opposed to what the animal skin itself actually is. Does it, you know what I mean? Uh, which I, I kind of prefer because we've already, like with the the zebra stripes, we've done something along those lines, right? So I wanted to try something uh, similar but different. But this is sort of the last thing we do with today's time lapse. There's still uh, some small aspects to, to, to work on over here. We, we got to do lighting and stuff as well, but but I hope you enjoyed today's time lapse. I hope you enjoyed this space. I quite like it. I feel like this was a huge undertaking, and so it's always exciting to finally kind of like put a bow on this stuff. I'm um, very pleased with it. I hope you like it as well. But for now, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and uh, I think we can say we're finally done. Finally done. Finally done. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, hey, if you're familiar with this channel, you know that nothing is ever really truly done. Uh, realistically speaking, there's some stuff that I, uh, or rather, I should say seriously speaking, there's some stuff that I have planned uh, for this area still, but I 
I think I have to wait before I can execute some of those plans. It really does depend on uh, some of these things that we're talking about with the new uh, patch that's coming up, um, particularly with regards to the uh, billboards. I'm not exactly sure how they work, but if they work how I think they work, uh, let's just say I've got some plans. Again, it might work out, it might not work out. If it doesn't work out, we'll do something else with the area. If it does work out, then, you know, I'm glad we'll have experimented with something new. I'm just going to adjust this thing over here because it's a little uh, kind of clipping through. I don't quite like that. <laughs> This was the longest time lapse we have done in a very long time. It was uh, quite a bit of work, quite a bit of struggle as well. I'm sure I touched over all the uh, points in the time lapse itself. So I just kind of want to spend some time really quickly now uh, going through the space. Um, I feel like there's still, obviously, there always will still be work to do. That is just the case. But I feel like in the future, what we'll do is we'll come back here. Uh, in real time and you know maybe place some more plants add some more color in fact i saw a comment with regards to adding more color uh, that would be a nice thing to do in terms of just getting some more flowers in there and stuff but honestly I, <laughs> a lot of times i just feel like i have the same flowers um everywhere because th there aren't that many options but that's just how i feel i mean i i think it's just that the options i like are uh, are far and few there are options i just have to get myself to like the other ones or realize the use cases of the other ones but anyway, so we will be coming back over here. We will be doing some more work, especially on the interior. But I'm fairly happy with how the exterior is looking, except for... What the... <laughs> runaway piece over here that I forgot to clean up, I suppose. There you go. There we go. I was wondering what that was when we walked in. Uh, but yeah, so from the interior, like, there's still a fair bit of work here and there that I would like to do. Though, overall, I will say I'm pretty pleased with how this is feeling. I do have to be careful about the plant coverage. The animals are already unhappy with regards to how many plants there are. It's a bit of a bummer uh, to have to like work around the game like that to create a space like this. Because realistically, they're not actually interacting with most of the plants that the game is considering to be in their space. Um, it's just that, you know, there's no... The, the game doesn't consider the Y-axis or the Z-axis if you want to, you know, depending on your point of reference. It doesn't, it doesn't take... Uh, doesn't take depth into consideration. It doesn't realize that these plants are not in this animal's enclosure and then perhaps it should be ignored. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, so the interior, we'll, we'll still come back and do some more work. I mean, I'm overall, actually, I'm decently pleased with it overall. Um, just a couple things here and there, like uh, maybe extend some of the glass paneling. Uh, when it comes time for lighting, we'll definitely be back over here for sure. Uh, but those are small things here. They're small tweaks overall. Oh, what if we add... Hmm... It's a lighting thing, but maybe we add little, like, star... Uh, little, little stars here so that at night... Hmm... Maybe. Maybe. I'm curious what these guys would think about that. I get a nice shot over here. Not gonna work. Camera's a little too... A little too fidgety. We'll figure it out. Um... I'm... I'm completely out of it right now <laughs> that was a that was a long time lapse definitely definitely feeling it but uh yeah i mean got the little uh, viewing spot over here all set up got these set up over here as well uh from the exterior i'm quite pleased again all everything that happened was uh was unexpected almost everything that happened was unexpected uh but i'm pleased with the end results of course it came with the challenge of actually uh, building these areas but now we've got a more interesting experience for the boat ride over here as well and I just feel like overall it's a it's a more fun space and the shapes are also quite interesting i quite like the uh just the, the, the overall perviness of the shapes, I suppose. I like the more complete feeling dome. I saw some of y'all mention that it feel, felt a little incomplete, and I hope this makes it feel a bit more sort of intentional and complete in that sense, because uh, I totally see what you're saying. And then apart from that as well, if we zoom all the way back, oh my god, I can't even move the camera fast enough. Zoom all the way back over to here, you can see we've got that that kind of impact that I was hoping for. We have a structure off in the distance that you kind of go, oh, what is that? Oh, what am I looking at there? It's got a very unique kind of form to it. It's got a unique shape to it. Uh, it's identifiable. It could be on, if there was a map, you know, one of those like cartoonishly drawn maps of Elitsu South, it would be one of those structures that gets highlighted. And I quite like that. I, I quite like that. That was one of our key, or that was one of my key considerations at least. And uh, I feel like I was able to actually execute on that and uh, create a semi-interior enclosure. We do have a lot of openings. Uh, but it's good practice for uh, when the time comes for fully enclosed enclosures. Also, before we... I mean, we shouldn't... Uh... There we go. Had to get the uh, the finishing touch in there, get that final visual kind of cue in there, which uh, brings it all brings it all together. Yeah, it just looks like a wall of water. But we know what the experience is supposed to be like. Gotta use the uh, mind's eye from time to time. But there it is, the uh, Phantom of the Nile... 
dare I say, completed? What do you guys think? As always, I'd love to hear your opinion. As I said, there's all obviously work to be done here and there. If I don't see it now, or if any of us don't see it now, we might see it a week from now, a month from now. We might come back, especially when we're doing lighting and stuff like that, when we do another beauty pass in the area. When we're adding more of the animals in this area, and boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to get to some of those animals. Some of them you've been asking for for a very long time, and I've been saying, like, yeah, just hang on, just hang on, it's soon, soon, soon. And for these last couple of weeks, it's been extra difficult, so it's like, it's like, it's really soon now. And then the DLC got announced, but listen, uh, <laughs> I'm really pumped for this area. But folks, uh, all that will have to wait, of course, till later. And more particularly, this is also the end of today's session. It is a time-lapse focused one, and I did get some feedback with regards to that and how some of you would prefer uh, to maintain kind of a mix of management and time-lapse. But like I was saying, this was the longest time-lapse we have had in a very, very long time. So as much as I would have loved to just kind of spend a bit more time over here, uh, I need to uh, call it a day over here. But we will be back with our next session, and hopefully we'll be getting a fair bit of management done because as some of you pointed out as well, yeah, we need to do a management session. We're getting a lot more inbreeding notifications. We're getting a lot of uh, infighting. We're getting some alpha fighting going on. There's all sorts of stuff going on right now that we should maybe touch on and uh, just smooth out some of those rough edges, I suppose. And the zoo. It's wild to look at the zoo from up on high. It has come a long, long, long way. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. As you very well know, it makes a very big difference in higher approach content on the channel. Again, it lets me know what y'all are interested in. It lets me know what I should do more or less of. I look at the number of likes and comments especially, and I do read through all the comments, and they do make a difference in how I approach content. Uh, you know, I get feedback, I look at that feedback, and I try to integrate it. I can't say everything will be integrated, obviously, but I try my best to find that little sweet spot, that balance between what everybody is hoping for, looking for, wishing for, dreaming for, what have you. We'll get there. So one of those unattainable goals, but uh, the constant feedback helps me. So uh, keep it all coming, folks. I want to say, of course, as well, a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who have been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You make things like this possible. You make these long kinds of series, the ever-evolving uh, approaches possible. So thank you very much. And of course, a big old thanks to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>